Hey guys, it's Angel and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video will be the episode 3 of Medtech series and the topic for today are the 10 things you need to expect as you enter Medtech course. So if you want to know these things that you need to expect before you enter or as you enter this course, so just keep on watching. Number one here is um, culture shock. Ayon. And palagi po niyo siyang nababanggit sa mga previous medtech series ko wherein we can really experience culture shock. And for me, culture shock is normal kasi um, napansin ko nung elementary or high school tayo and masyala tayo naging comfortable. That's why siguro you really need to expect na mga culture shock tayo sa college kasi future na natin yung nakasalala dito. That's why the teachers are more strict and the lessons are also uh, a lot more difficult than sa high school. So, yeah, culture shock. But, that's okay, guys. Kung makulture shock man kayo, it means it's a good experience and um, you can learn from that experience. So, yeah, culture shock. Number two, you need to expect that there will be no more spoon feeding. And, yeah, they, there will be no more spoon, spoon feeding in a way that they will not teach everything to you. Especially sa course namin where in kailangan mo talagang maging masipag, uh, lalo na kapag yung mga prof mo ay eh, ibibigay lang sa'yo yung name ng book and ikaw na bahala magbasa. So, yun, yun yung mahirap doon. Kaya dapat uh, practicing nyo na um, maging masipag. <laughs> yun. Gusto na lagi, yung, lagi lang kayo mag, maging masipag. Kasi yun naman talaga yung kailangan nyo para masurvive din yung college. Um, yeah. For me, kahit na matalin yung isang tao, hindi naman siya masipag. Parang wala din. So, ayun. There will be no more spoon feeding. And sanayin niya na lagi kayong pumunta sa library. Kasi best friend niyo ang library. Yun. Number three, you need to expect that you can experience lack of sleep. You will experience lack of sleep due to quizzes, exams, and manuals. So, ayun. By the way, guys, nilista ko na lang dito yung mga, ano, para yung mga topics para hindi ko siya makalimutan. So, yun. Number three, lack of sleep. You need to expect na minsan or most of the time ay kulang talaga tayo ng tulog. Lalo na tayong mga um, med, med tech students wherein we need, we need to study for some quizzes and um, some exams. And sa akin, ang ginagawa ko, ewan ko na banggit ko na din ata siya sa previous vlog ko. Kapag uwi ko ng bahay, eh, in una ko talaga yung mga manuals or basta yung mga uh, kailangang isulat or kailangang i-drawing. Basta yung mga laboratory manuals namin. Most of the time, laboratory manuals namin yung ginagawa namin. And sa madaling araw ako nag-aaral. Kasi pag uwi ko ng bahay, sobrang pagod ako. And hindi ka ano gumagalit ng utak ko. Kaya in una ko na lang yung mga pwedeng isulat. So, ayun. Number four, expect bad days. But I'm not saying na lagi yun na lang iisipin na everyday is a bad day. No. Um, ang gusto ko lang i-point out dito eh huwag mong sanayin yung sarili mo. Sarili mo na la palaging may good day or everyday is, ha is a happy day in college life. Kasi um, for sure, makaka-experience ka ng um, low scores, minsan-minsan, or minsan naranasan ko na rin bumagsak sa exam. And, syempre, sobrang nakasad yun. Pero, um, kapag ina-expect mo na na there will be some bad days on your college life, um, gagamitin mo yun as a motivation para mas mag-aral ka pa and mas magpursigi pa sa pag-aaral mo. Ayan. Number five, ito yung medyo mahirap because you need to expect uh, to have quiz every day. <laughs> Quizzes every day. And, hindi lang siya quiz eh. Minsan, dalawa or tatlo pa yun sa isang araw. And, it's normal na rin sa amin. Parang nasanay na rin kami na laging may quiz every day. And, siguro sa first year, mahihirapan ka pa. Kasi yun nga, culture shock. Mag-adjust pa yung body system mo. Pero, ano, as the time goes by, masasanay ka na rin. So, quiz day every day. And, minsan, kapag first year, pa nung first year kami, uh, meron kaming uh, quiz sa major, meron din sa minor, so naka, medyo nakakalito siya. Pero hindi naman siya every week. Meron lang parang certain week na um, palagi kayong may quiz. <laughs> Ayun. So, number, number 
Number six, expect cover-to-cover -cover exams, especially sa final exam. Kasi sa school namin, tatlo, uh, we have prelim midterms finals. And sa ibang school ata, wala silang midterm or wala silang prelim. So parang prelim or wala silang prelim. I want to say something. <laughs> prelim midterm and finals. So sa finals, um, cover to cover shower in you need to study the whole book itself and um, applicable lang siya usually sa um, major subjects or sa professional subjects namin. And then sa final exams na yon, um, yon, um, kino cover din niya yung prelim and yung midterm topics. So talagang madami kang aaralin doon. So expect niyo na yun guys kung um, e enter kayo ng medtech course, yun yung lagi yung tatandaan na kapag finals, cover to cover. Pero alam ko lang sa ibang schools. Pero alam ko, pati naman ata sa ibang mga schools, eh, ginagawa yung mga yun. We're in that's their way para ma-refresh yung students sa mga previous topics. Ayun, number seven, um, nabanggit ko na siya sa, mga, sa previous episode where in you expect uh, absences during family occasions or family gatherings. And although it's kind of sad, but yun talaga eh, you need to sacrifice yourself para wala kang mamiss na lesson or wala kang mamiss na quiz. Kasi for me sa akin dati, naranasan ko noong first year, ah, second year ata, yun, um, nag-absent ako and ang dami ko na agad na miss. Unlike pag sa high school, nung high school ako, uh, excuse letter lang, tapos gagawin ka pa ng um, special quiz. Pero, although may special quiz din sa um, college, pero you need some valid reasons talaga. And, mas strict dot sila sa college sa, kaysa sa high school. So, yeah. Number eight, um, you expect that you can find good circle of friends. Dapat maging friendly ka sa college kasi sobrang hirap ng college. And, Although meron yung mga tao na kaya nilang mag-isa, pero for me, nasanay ako nung high school na meron akong um, madaming meron akong friends. And sa college, you also expect na makakahanap ka ng good circle of friends para hindi mo lang sarilihin yung mga problems mo wherein they are the ones you can share your problems with. So, ayun. Sobrang saya lang na meron kang group of friends. So, shout out to my friends. Siguro, insert ko na lang yung pictures nila dito. Ayan. So, they are my friends and they are my good friends. And they uh, love me and I love them also. So, yun. Sobrang makakasurvive kayo sa college when you have good friends. Number nine. Medyo nakakahilo to. Ewan ko kung bakit ito yung sino yung tinayip ko. You expect unexpected things you would do for the grades. Tama ba yung grammar? <laughs> you need... Number nine? Number, number nine. Number nine. You expect unexpected things you will do for the grades. Tagalugin mo na lang. <laughs> Tagalugin mo na lang. Mayroon kasi yung mga activities sa college na alam mo sa sarili mo na mapapahiya ka. <laughs> Pero gagawin mo pa rin for the grades. Parang nung summer namin, nag-summer like class ako first year. Uh, so, may ako kami, ganun. Tapos, swimming, swimming. And, nung, <laughs> kasi, uh, kakataas lang ng online class namin. And then, yung PE subject ko, volleyball. <laughs> volleyball and, um, laro ng lahi, larong Pinoy. And then, um, our teacher told us to submit a video. And di siyempre, para akong ewan na nagbibideo sa sarili ko. Volleyball. Tapos, um, laro ng lahi. Pero shout out kay Tony. Pinsan ko yan. <laughs> na tinulungan ako sa uh, exam ko na yun and sa activity ko na yun. Ayun, parang ang madami ka rin talaga ma experience sa college na hindi mo inaasahan na magagawa mo sa sarili mo for the grade. And number 10, expect that you can be a registered medical technologist. Ayan, so dapat um, expect mo rin na magiging RMT ka in the future. You need to trust yourself and you need to trust God 
na tutulungan kanya until the finish line. So, yun, um, na-inspire lang ako na gumawa ng ganitong contents kasi marami rin akong nababasang comments. Ayun, nagbabasa rin ako ng comments nyo about um, gusto nyo mag-enter ng medical laboratory science course which is um, nakakataba ng puso kasi um, through my videos ay eh, nakakakuha kayo ng ideas about this course. So, thank you guys for your support. And, um, dadagdag ko na lang din sa video na to kasi meron akong mga nababasang comments and I'm really sorry guys kung yung mga ibang episodes ng MedTech series ay eh, na-disable yung comments. So, pwede na lang kayong mag-comments sa episode 2 kasi doon ata yung hindi na disable yung comments. So, I'm really sorry guys. Next time, i-check ko na siya. So, ayun. Um, sasagutin ko yung mga questions na nabasa ko from the comment section in my previous uh, MedTech episode. So, ayun. Number Actually, dalawa lang to, pero um, kailangan ko siyang sagutin. Sabi dito, ask ko lang po kung okay lang po ba na left-handed ako din mag-take ako ng medtech. Hindi po ba mahihirapan pag ganon? Thank you and keep safe. Uh, thank you then and keep safe. Especially ngayon. Um, mar marami akong classmates na left-handed, pero hindi naman sila nahihirapan. Um, depende na lang talaga sa skill mo and um, sabi nga nila practice makes you better and wala yan kung right handed ka or left handed ka man kasi um, tuturuan naman kayo on how to do those procedures correctly and accurately so no need uh, to worry about that and okay lang siya kahit left handed kayo may mga friends ako na left handed eh okay naman nakakasurvive naman um, kailangan mo lang din talaga practice ng practice ng practice. Like for example, sa venipuncture, um, practice ka lang. And then ito, um, last question. Gumagamit po ba ng stethoscope ang medtech student? Um, hindi kami gumagamit ng stethoscope kasi ang palagi naming dala ay eh, uh, flab kit. Yung flab kit na yun, na pakita ko siya sa first episode ng medtech series. So you can check that out. And a uh, stethoscope, Meron kami isang laboratory activity wherein pinaranas namin how to use stethoscope pero we are not focusing on that one. Parang pinatry lang sa amin and para alam din namin yung um, ginagawa namin once na nakatawag na kami ng stethoscope. Pero um, in a medtech course, mas focus kami on syringe, sa mga chemicals, so ayun. And ang alam ko, pag stethoscope is more on nursing course. Yan, sa nursing siya. Ayun, sana nasagot ko yung mga questions niya. And you can also drop your questions in the comment section para pwede ko ulit siyang masagot sa next episode. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching and I hope that you learned something from this episode. And gaya ng lagi kong sinasabi, eh, you also need ask some advices sa mga teachers nyo pagdating ng araw. And, ayun, thank you for your love and support. And thank you for always watching my MedTech series. And napansin ko kasi na ito yung mas madaming views. So, um, you can also drop your um, suggestions kung ano pa yung pwede kong gaw gawa ng episode, kung ano pang pwede topic ang pwede natin mapag-usapan dito sa channel ko. So, yeah. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. See you on my next vlog. Bye!